Oh, Ewan, where are you going? To my shop, of course. Though first, I need wares to sell. I have to do this myself. Good day, Mr. Ewan. This is everything you ordered. I see. I have a card on route, so allow us to wait here a while. Whoa, you bought all those boxes? This is the time to buy. Tea leaves are freshest right now. But it's just tea. Are we going to run out sometime soon? Oh, you don't know. Tea leaves change flavor depending on the season. The leaves in this box are from new buds. They taste truly luxurious. Wow, I never knew there was such variety in tea. Would you like to try some? I'm okay. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference anyway. Are you sure? This is an opportunity to expand your horizons. Wouldn't it be wasteful not to spend money on leisure while you're young? It's strange that you're talking to me about youth. I'll be fine. Hunting is my leisure. I don't need to spend money. Well, if you ever need anything, feel free to come over to you and Inc. Good shopping is only available in the big city. I won't rip you off, promise. You're quite the confident little salesman. I'm a merchant through and through, even while I'm on the Royal Knights. If I let a potential customer go, I'd be failing the you and Inc. name. So does that mean you sell things to others too? But of course. Sweets for Lizette, gifts and alcohol for Rusty. I've already picked up on their tastes. You're really impressive, Ewan. Huh? Boss! Boss! Ah, oh, you're finally here. Wait, where's the cart? Well, a sudden order came in and all the carts had to be taken out. Sorry to keep you waiting. My, what a slip up. There's not much we can do. I'll have her hold the product for another time. Hey, Ewan, want me to help? Hmm? They're just tea leaves. I can carry the boxes if you want. That would be lovely, but my shop is quite far from here. That's okay. We already have the tea. Might as well deliver them now. Thank you, Alto. I'll serve you a cup once we get to the store. Really? I thought it was expensive. <laughs> it's no skin off my back. If you end up a tea fanatic, you'll come spend money at my shop anyway. You really don't miss a beat. Well, let's get going. As they say, time is money. Right, right. Yep. Ugh, it's heavy. Alto, a promise is a promise. Yeah, I know, I know. Damn, this is heavy. Alto, I have a favor to ask. What? What's wrong? There is no time to explain. You must come with me. I have been... Set up. Set up? What do you mean? For an arranged marriage. Marriage? Do you remember before, when Sebastian came to the barracks? It seems this was his plan. A Hoenn's noblewoman will arrive here shortly. I can hold my own on the battlefield. But what do I talk about off of it? C c calm down, Archibald. I... I am calm. You look pretty nervous to me. No. Perhaps you are correct. It will be torture to be alone with her. How will I survive? Just calm down. 
Deep breaths. I can't come with you. I'm an outsider. Oh, that will not be a problem. We are simply getting acquainted first. The meeting will take place at a famous cafe in the capital. If you observe from a nearby table, I may be able to stay calm. Uh, but... Oh, the time is almost upon us. My apologies, but you must come with me. Let us go, Alto! Hey, wait! Archibald! I can't believe he dragged me all the way here. He sure seems to be really nervous. I wonder if he'll be all right. It is an honor to meet with you, Lord Archibald. I heard you were a busy man, so I near gave up. Uh, oh, uh, you too. <laughs> He's wound up even tighter than usual. Plus, his attendant's not with him. I'm starting to get worried. Your choice of meeting place surprised me, I must admit. I expected to speak somewhere a tad quieter. Quiet places are no good, especially not alone. With a lady. I... I suppose. Archibald, you're leaning in too close. No, oh, excuse me. I hear the cake here is spectacular. Uh, Mr... What's his name? Rates it quite highly. Oh, is that so? Perhaps I'll indulge in some then. Waiter! Bring this fine lady all the cake you have! I... I don't believe I can eat that much. I see. Hmm. In that case, I shall remain silent. Archibald! I... Oh, please, excuse me for, for a moment. What is the matter, Otto? You can't just not say anything. This is a date. But what should I do? I don't know. Talk about what you're looking for in a partner. No. Oh. Okay. If you ask her some questions, I'm sure you'll find Archibald. What I hope for in a woman is that she be a true lady. No. No, you idiot. A refined air. Modesty. But most of all... A strong heart, a woman who contained all that! Her beauty would be unrivaled! I, is that so? Mm. This is a disaster. <sighs> it's finally over. My apologies, Alto. No, I should be the one to apologize. I feel bad. I didn't expect you to be that nervous. She could have been the one I protect for the rest of my life. When I realized that, my mind went completely blank. So that's why you were acting so strange. I am pathetic. Marriage is but a dream within a dream for me now. Come on. You don't need to be so upset. Your attempts at comfort are unneeded. I embarrassed that poor lady. Well... Maybe the two of you weren't compatible this time, but it's your job as a knight to protect the ladies of Regnet. There's no time to be depressed. Think about what you can do in the present. That... well... That makes sense. Yes. I must deliver my apologies to the lady herself. Thank you, Alto. Bringing you along was the correct decision. <laughs> it was no problem. I'm not coming next time, though. You can do it, Archibald. Okay. I will consider it.
How could this be? And I even purchased 100 charms for Her Excellency. Ah, uh, no way around it. Quelling the fire is her role, after all. We just need to keep buying these charms to show her our support. Yeah, Lady Sakuya! Due to rehearsals, today's meet and greet is canceled. Well, that's a bummer, huh, Alta? Why would I care? Come on, we should be going. Whoa, man. You came all this way just to give up that easily? Of course. There's no point being here if it's canceled. You won't get the ladies with an attitude like that, you know. With my training, I can easily get past guards of this caliber. Aren't those the commander's guards, though? Come on! I'm gonna leave you behind if you're just gonna stand there. Uh, hey! Rusty! Oh! There's a door over here! <laughs> nice find, Popo. We've wandered pretty deep into the shrine. I hope it's all right. Shh! I sent someone on the other side of the door. What? So they're gonna wait until it's over? Are they dumb? But if you show yourself to everyone for a few minutes... <laughs> As if I care. It's not like I asked them to wait for me. And when did you become so full of yourself to talk back to me? Ah, my apologies! That wasn't my intention! I don't know who that is, but what a bitch. Then at least do something about those annoying guys up front. Ah, damn that brawny gorilla, getting all pumped up about this. I hate those passionate types. And the other pig. That act was charming ten years ago. Not anymore. Th that's not... This voice. This smell. They're so annoying. I can't be myself when they're monitoring me. Tell them to go away already. But then we won't have enough people watching over you. What? You're saying you can't do it? Tell me, who's your master again? <laughs> Th that would be you, Lady Sakuya. <coughs> oh, so you do know. Then you know what you have to do, right? Disrupt the guards, so the lady can have some free time. If you know that much, get on with it already. Good gods, the only thing that's developed is your body. You're forever useless, you... you walking pair of knockers. M my apologies, my lady. Your servant Nonoka shall head out now. Me, me! Is this Miss Sakuya's... True nature? Mm hmm? I sense something. This presence. Have we been spotted? What do we do, Rusty? It seems we've witnessed something we shouldn't have. Hey, Rusty! We don't have time for this! Every rose has its something, huh? Gotta be careful with pretty ladies. This was a good lesson, I'll tell. <clears throat> Match and hold? Huh? What's with the rope? This, too, is a learning experience. Do something you can be proud of. Sorry, Alto. Good luck with the rest. Coco, go, go, go. she'll be here any second. Hey, wait. Undo these ropes. I'll pray for your safety. Hey! You pervert. How dare you eavesdrop on a... <sighs> Hello. You're from the Regnant Knights. So, you're saying that someone captured and tied you up back there? Well, something like that? Hmm. Well, I don't really care about the how or why. The issue is what you've seen here. I am the priestess, after all. I'm trying to maintain a pure image. It'll be a problem if you snitch. I wouldn't do that. But isn't it the perfect news? It's a scandal on the innocent priestess. You may sound honest now. But I bet you'll spill the beans later. Come on. Why do you care so much about your image? What? Obviously, being the priestess is a matter of popularity. No matter how much...
which the parishioners say they're a fan, do one little thing that tarnishes your image and they lose interest. Then, why pretend to begin with? Let me tell you, no one's gonna notice a boring average girl. It's a perfect balance between charisma and intimacy. This is how it's done. It's my job to act the part they want to see and receive offerings. Huh. Being the priestess sounds like a challenging job. What? Just who do you think you are, sympathizing like you know me? Don't you prefer your priestess to be pure and innocent rather than this? Nah. I think the real you is pretty cute too. If anything, she's cuter. What? Are you being serious? Are you dumb? Are you a masochist? I'm neither dumb nor a masochist. But I guess I have strange tastes. Are you calling me strange? <laughs> anyway, now that you've seen my darker side, you're gonna have to be my servant. I have no intention whatsoever of obeying you. So, I see. Well, then I guess I have no intention of helping you guys either. I'll just decline joining the Anthem program and blame it on you. Uh, uh, all right, all right. I won't tell anyone, and I'll do as you say. Hmm. I hope you've learned your place. If I felt like it, I could socially destroy someone as bland as you. Your Excellency, we're done setting up for the rehearsal. Thank you. I've completed the preparations on my end as well. What a quick transition. Shouldn't you be more careful with how you speak? Uh, well, I guess we're good for now. Meet at Gora Volcano tomorrow. Gora Volcano, huh? Got it. Oh, and come alone. I'll take you down if anyone else shows up. Your Excellency, you're up. I am on my way. Uh, you look more divine than last year. This year will be another success. So, that's what you call a pro. What are you selling? There you go! What would you like?
It's time. Advance. Here I come. Death. Yet another step ahead. It's time. Here you go. It's Popo's turn. Here I go. 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 Here I 
go. Let us advance. Let's go. It's time. I'll go. I'm ready. Let us advance. It's my turn. I don't think that'll do much. Let's go! It's time! Let us advance. Here I come. Here I come. It's time. Here you go. It's my turn. I don't think that'll do much.
Go. It's time. Your face makes a great target.
my turn. That's their weak spot. Water. Yeah. You won't hit me. I'll go. Right? Let us advance. Let's go. It's time. Here you go. Here we go.
Let us advance. Here I come. Here I come. Let us advance. Here I come. Here I come.
Let's go. It's time. Let us advance. It's my turn. That's their weak spot. It's time. I'll tear you up! Let us advance. Here I come. Here you are. My turn.
Let's go. It's time. I'll tear you up. <laughs> are able to fight for a lady! Yeah. Uh-huh. You have my gratitude for saving me from danger, everyone. Please, it was nothing. I am just glad your Excellency is unharmed. Alto, Your Excellency. Nonaka. What were you doing at such a place? I, I was just chasing the lady and... What were you two doing here, my lady? We were... Uh, yes. Gora Volcano. I was simply curious how things were up here. Hmm, I see. However, I wish you had notified us in advance. These guards are here for you. Please, use them as you see fit. You are correct. My apologies. I shall do so next time. Well then, we'll see your excellency back to the Amatsu Shrine. Alto, take the rest back to the capital and replenish our supplies. Yes, sir. Welcome to my hall. Come again. Um, Commander Klaus, are you free? If you need me, I would be glad to make time. What is the matter? Is there something on your mind? Oh, yeah, uh, not exactly. I was wondering if you wanted to spend some time together. We don't really have much chance to talk outside of expeditions, so I thought it might be nice to hang out a bit, if that's okay with you. Hmm, you are correct. I guess I should spread my wings a bit. How could I say no to you, Alto? Okay. Now there's a face I don't see much. You here with Alto? Indeed. I could not refuse one of my favorite subordinates. My apologies, but 
Could I ask for something on the weaker side? I have plans for later. It's always work, work, work with you, huh? And what about you, Alto? I'll have an orange juice. Gotcha. I can't wait for the day you start drinking, Alto. I'm surprised. I never thought you and Kayash knew each other. Yes. When I was a low-ranking soldier, I would come here to listen to rumors. I do not mind the atmosphere, though. The ebb and flow, the busyness. You're okay with noisy places? You don't really seem the type. I have nothing against a social atmosphere. Coming here is refreshing for me. I have been alone for a long, long time. I see now. Hmm? You're always quick to look after us, Commander. But you avoid other people. That's why I wanted to talk to you more. You seem so lonely. You were very direct, Alto. Not to say I'm surprised. S sorry No, there is no need to worry. I was born in a world torn asunder by war. War? Even if we wished for peace, it was impossible to maintain. People died in droves, almost as if they didn't matter. I always wondered, why were we born in the first place just to die? Can anyone be saved? I became lost in hopelessness. I spent years searching for a meaning to life. Maybe the loneliness you see within me is a residual effect of those times. But now, I have a goal. The Anthem program has nearly come to fruition. Back during the war, were you alone then too? No. There was someone I called my friend. Was? What happened to them? He is no longer with us. It was long ago. Um, Commander Klaus? What is it, Alta? I'm going to work harder so I can live up to your standards. I want to be a friend you can talk to and laugh with. <laughs> you probably think I'm being a bit presumptuous, but I will become a knight equal to you. That way you can depend on me. I see. Well, thank you, Alto. A friend to talk to and laugh with, huh? What a very Alto thing to say. Sorry to interrupt this touching moment, but I've got your orders. Fresh squeezed OJ for you, Alto? And a nice pint of ale for Klaus. Thank you, Kayash. Well, I suppose now is an appropriate time to relax and drink. Shall we make a toast? Yes. To your future knighthood, and to the Anthem program, with which we will fulfill the wishes of humanity. Cheers!
<sighs> I think we've just about hit all four cardinal points. Yes, that's enough socializing for the day. It's time for training. Training? As in singing training? Obviously. Why else do you think I called you over? <sighs> all right. I'll keep you company. But will simple training really allow you to sing? What? You have a problem with my methods? <sighs> no, not at all. Still, I'd like to know, why are you hiding the fact that you can't sing? Are you that dumb? The whole town will panic if they find out the priestess can't sing. But does it matter if Nonaka finds out? She knows your true side anyway. Nonaka can't know. She's horrible at telling lies. But she's not the type of person who'd spill your secrets, right? Of course she isn't. She's my shinobi, after all. Then why not? I said no. The priestess is someone who can sing. And Nonoka is her aide. If I can't sing, I'm no master or anything to her. Is that all you're worth, Sakuya? <laughs> you don't even know me. Well, yeah. I don't know the real you at all. But at least you know, right? About what kind of person you truly are? I am well aware. However, it's also why the people can't know. The same goes for you as well. Who you need is the Fire Witch. You don't need a plain Sakuya. Huh. If you put it that way, I guess. But do you remember Lizette? The witch who doesn't show her belly, right? What about her? She can't sing either. Not even once since she became a witch. <laughs> we don't know the cause, or if she'll ever even be able to sing. But she's important to the knights. I'm sure everyone thinks the same. <laughs> Quiet down, only to hear you talk like you know everything. Mr. Boring, a.k.a. Mr. Preacher, you're nothing but an annoyance. I'm not trying to lecture you or anything. Whatever. Just shut up and listen. Hey, was that... I... I sang? I wouldn't say you're completely back to normal, but... It'll be fine. There'll be accompaniment at the actual performance. All right, the festival's in good shape with this. Uh, hey, are you done already? It'll be for nothing if I practice too much and destroy my voice. You can hear the rest of it at the festival. You're dismissed, servant. Go on home. Sakuya, wait! Well, she is a professional. I suppose she'll be okay. Hey, the coast is clear. You can come out now. Uh, you knew that I was tailing you two? I am a member of the Regnant Knights, after all. Wow, uh, amazing. Hey, Nonoka, why do you serve Sakuya? It's because the lady is an amazing person, of course. How can you admire her so much when she treats you so cruelly? Cruelly? That's not true at all! The lady is a kind individual who shows mercy to a mere bug like me. Wow. I still don't see why you respect her so much. I, I haven't even fulfilled one one hundred thousandth of what I owe her! I'll never be able to repay her for the blessing she gave me. What's this blessing about? You... you really want to know? Mm-hmm. I'm curious. Well then, I'll share it with you. I was raised in the Yukani clan shinobi village. Everyone was an elite shinobi. With me being last in everything, it eventually reached the point where I would have to leave if I failed my exam. Exiled from the village, huh? Being a shinobi sounds rough. It just means I was that much of a failure. I was fine during training, but I choke when others watched. <sighs> On the day of the exam, though, my lady came to inspect the village. As I was crying in the back, she gave me a cardboard box and said, Just wear this, you big boot turtle! To cheer me up! Don't tell me! You took the exam with that thing on? My body moved freely, as if everything before then was a lie! I didn't care what anyone thought. It was the first time I was praised! Thanks to that, I was allowed to stay in the Okani village. It 
was then that I decided to serve Lady Sakuya. I see. So Sakuya is your benefactor. That word doesn't suffice at all. The lady gave my life meaning. Without her, I'm worth less than trash. Less than trash? She and Sakuya are on complete opposite ends of the spectrum. And despite all that I owe her, I didn't even realize that she couldn't sing. <sighs> I'm so stupid, stupid, stupid! Sakuya thinks she has no value because she can't sing. Do you think that too? Of course not! Whatever happens to my lady, she will be my one and only master. That's what I thought. Indeed! She is far more important than my own life! All right, then I guess there's nothing I should be worried about. My work here is done, so I'll leave the rest to you, Nonoka. What? I'm saying I'm leaving Sakuya in your care until her performance. <gasps> okay, I shall guard her properly until the rite of comb fire. <laughs>